Grace Missionary Church. Uh, my name is Patience Kutenyu from Zimbabwe, Arare, Zimbabwe. Um, I came here to to learn more from the Apostle. As he has walked the road, um, there are certain things that you will not understand as you do ministry. I mean ministry. Our ministry is about three years old. So seeing him as a mentor and also get to get the impartation from him is what drove me to come to South Africa, Zimbabwe, South Africa from Zimbabwe. So I'm so grateful to God for this opportunity to have been around. I think watching from the TV and seeing it live, they are two different things. So yes, I think for me to get the experience, um, I actually had to watch him on 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 video. YouTube, and I was following on YouTube, just uh, watching the videos, and I must say, the impartation actually started before I came. I think there was one way I was watching, and he said, this impartation, you can touch the screen, and the impartation straight, straight away will come to you. So as I was watching um, the video, and touching on the screen, the impartation actually started before I came here. So that's when I realized I have to be here. <laughs> um, at first I thought probably we'll see someone else not him and my heart was actually saying it is well even if I see someone but at least I have stepped my foot in Charis but getting to see him seated and under one roof with him very close <laughs> is something that I would never take for granted it's something that blew my mind it became so real it became so live. You know, that experience, you know, where, where they, you know, I remember when the disciples said to Jesus, um, if we could just stay, build our tent here and stay, that's the feeling, that's the kind of feeling that you have. And it's a wonderful experience. And being with him by the grace of God, explaining as well, talking about uh, ministry and everything, it was awesome. Some of these experiences are hard to explain. <laughs> You're like exploding. It's like there's something in you that wants to explode. So the impartation was like an explosion in my spirit. And I still feel it even up to now. So it was, it was awesome. It was worth it. It was worth it. I think one thing that um, I just need to say is Joshua 3, when they were crossing the River Jordan, the Bible says they had to put um, the Ark of the Lord in the front. And they were told, you have not walked this road. And they were supposed to follow. So as they were following, the grace continues to move. And there are certain obstacles or certain challenges that you may face as a, as a young uh, minister of the gospel that you might not have to face when you talk to the generals, the people that have walked the road, the people that um, have done it. They will tell you, daughter, this is the way to go. This is not what to do. This is what you can do. So I think this is the direction that the young ministers 
need to have and to know and also to get direction from God to be able to identify someone who can mentor you in ministry is something that cannot be done overnight but it's something that you need an inner witness your, your inner man will witness to you that this is the right thing so that's my advice to say pray and allow God to show you the person that can mentor you in the journey of Christianity Charis Missionary Church. My name is Samuel. I come from Nigeria. I reside in Captain Park. The problem that brought me here is the problem of business failure and the marriage problems. Uh, like business that is growing, for three years ago, he was giving me money. All of a sudden, it start going down. So um, I start looking for solution. That's what brought me here. Um, it's uh, income maybe you are getting in like income in a week or two weeks. You are getting income of three thousand. All of a sudden, in a month, you couldn't get that. 3,000 anymore. So that's why I'm here. Yeah, he said, he said everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. That he see God expanding me. Mm -hmm. He prayed for me. Mm -hmm. He delivered me and said soon I will come with a testimony. I'm feeling good. Yeah, you yeah. have done it. I believe that. Charis Missionary Church. Okay, my name is Kenzani Rarupe. I'm from Vwani, Aramku, Balimpopo, South Africa. When I came here, I wanted uh, the man of God to help me with a problem of sickness around my stomach that was troubling me. My stomach was painful and then it was uh, expanded a bit. And then uh, this happened after I had some operations. So that's when I felt really now I need to come to the man of God to come and help me. I went to the doctor, uh, specialist, the general surgeon, and then he was the one who saw me. And then I was taking medication to ease the pain. Yes, it was because that medication makes you to sleep most of the time during the days for the pain to go. Yes. Yes, because I will always be tired. Sometimes I'll stay away from work, you know, not functional during the day because of the medication. That's when I realized I need to come to the God, to the man of God who can help me. Yeah, the prophecy is true. He told me I've got a problem around my stomach, which is true. And then he also prayed for me. Happy. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just found myself falling down. And then that's when, when I wake up, I thought that's my deliverance. And I'm free. I'm free in Jesus' name. Viewers out there, I would like to encourage you that here at Charis, man of God is always here to help you with every situation. Also believe that God of yesterday is still here today and tomorrow. Just believe in God and he will help you out. Charis Missionary Church. Oh, <laughs>
ndo rabele ni wanga wafunzi zuna e, ndiko pande right e, ndiko pande kwenye badi no four e, kulibu wa mzimu